Hey gangsters, it's just me, Ghetto Mukbang Mama. And I'm here for my Ancha Burrita Mukbang. I made a video on both my channels, for both my channels, so you can see the recipe. And this is what the meal looks like. These are frozen burritos, and if you watch a video before this, you'll find out what's all in it. And this is just a simple salad. It's got lettuce and a little bit of chopped up onion in it and tomatoes. Mmm, I like raw onions. And, uh, well, these grape tomatoes, they're hecka big. Mmm. You can taste the sunshine in those. So, I won salad so bad last night, but I didn't have it, so it's not a habit. Yay, me! I went to the store this afternoon and got all this stuff to make this meal. This was, like, cheap because this is frozen burritos. I had to use, like, three, um packs of them because like I think eight burritos come in a pack and we have like seven people in our family so so for them to have seconds and maybe some eat tomorrow I needed to um, use three packs plus I don't like to cook I guess the secrets out now mmm The first time I made these, everybody says, well, how'd you get the your um, little burritos rolled so tight and everything? And I'm like, hmm, should I tell them or shouldn't I tell them? But I wound up telling them and told them it's frozen burritos. But they're, they're perfect. These are like um, beef bean and green chilies in here and cheese and I have enchilada sauce the green enchilada sauce you can use red though if you like it I got shredded Mexican cheese and some mozzarella and some salsa dribbled on it and, oh and a can of nacho cheese um, Campbell soup in there too mmm mm. Well, that goes to prove what big, what a big mouth I have, right? <laughs> but I'm hungry. This is another one of those days where I didn't eat anything until now. I don't know why. During the day, I'm just not really hungry, so I eat in the evening, which is not really good for me because you know you shouldn't be eating before you go to bed. And I'll probably be going to bed in about an hour. But you don't know what I have for my mouth, my um, beverage. <laughs> I think she's been talking to you, huh? Cheers. It's good for the old bones to drink a cup of milk at night. And here comes another big old bite. I don't know. I need to figure out how to prop my phone up. And everybody says turn my phone sideways so it's widescreen. Well, I can't do it because I wind up looking over here when I'm talking. I don't know how to do it, so I really need to practice. It was actually 80 degrees today, or maybe a little bit more. It was hot in my house today. Uh oh, my big my son's coming home. So my dogs are barking, so I have to put you on pause for a minute. Well, I'm not going to. So loud dog alert. I 
Here's my little pieces of diced tomatoes that I put on top of this. It's really good. No, Chippy. So what's everybody been up to today? I haven't really been doing too much today. <clears throat> Just hanging out at home. So I really need to cut this, but I can't. And this is one of those things where you can't pick it up with your fingers because that just ain't going to work. Shush. Oh, Mom. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Damn. You know, I really haven't watched any YouTube videos today. I took a big old nap in my chair. I filmed a um, short little video with a young man that uh, we know. It was his coming out video. He's transgender and uh, decided to do a video on that. Hopefully it'll help somebody. Because I'm sure that was like really difficult for him. So there's my son. There's ancho burrito casserole on the um, stove. Yeah. And there's salad in the dish over there too. And of course, you know it. Always have a beggar. Damn, I wish I could cut this. But I only have one hand. Because the other, I'm holding you. You like me holding hands with you while I eat. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, come on. I need to cut it. It's crispy. It's not burnt. See, it's not burnt. It's just crispy. And it's not cutting with the fork. Oh, there it goes. But that's a way big bite. So. Really good. So what's YouTube been like today for everybody out there? Has there been any trolls on your channel? Are there good comments? I've had a lot of <clears throat> really good comments. I think my gangsters are the best. Yeah, you guys are the best, my gangsters. You know why I call you gangsters? Because I live in the hood. Full of gangsters around me. And we all got to stick together and be loyal, right? Be family. So that's why you're my gangsters. It doesn't mean you're doing illegal stuff or you sag your pants. Well, if you do sag your pants, that's on you. But it just means you're my gang. Or maybe I should call us the rascals. Hmm. Tough decision. Ooh, how do you like that lighting? Makes me look like I don't have a double chin. I don't know. Being fat is not where it's at. Oh, I got food on my face again. Yep. I 
I'm so mad about Facebook, by the way. You know, there's so many anti America people out there. And I'm not one of these gun toting Republican people. I'm not even a Democrat. I'm not. But. I think that people should be respectful, you know. If you go to a sporting event or any kind of event and they have like some kind of um, thing going on where you have to be patriotic for like four minutes of your life, you should do it because there's soldiers out there that gave their life, came back screwed up, might have died, just so that we could be free and keep our sporting events and, and do whatever we want to do keep our liberties. So it's 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 about, it's all about that. And you know what? I got in fights with oh, with Facebook people because they say it's not disrespectful. I find it very disrespectful. And I don't know how the hell kneeling and being disrespectful to America and the veterans and military and just everybody in general how how is being disrespectful going to stop oppression? and people of color, or police brutality. It's not going to stop nothing. It's not. So why bother to do it? This is a freaking sporting event, and it's time to do the national anthem or whatever. And everybody's, like, saying really nasty stuff about that, too. About the music and everything. I don't get it. How many of you live here in America and be so anti-America, you know? If they're doing it because they think the government is going to give a rat's butt, no. You know what I've learned? Because I have dogs and just because... I know in general, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. So if you want things to happen, in your favor, then don't be so crazy and buck the government all the time. Because Washington's made up with a bunch of rich people. And they wouldn't give it the time of day to somebody like me. Because they're wealthy. And they don't care. But I think personally, if you make some kind of connection with these kind of people, maybe they will stay loyal. They're supposed to be loyal to us. Supposed to be. But if you're like all the time being a stupid, being stupid and saying mean things why would they care if your medical insurance gets cut why do they why would they care if your social security gets cut why would they care about taxes if they raise them they're not going to care because everybody's being stupid and being mean. And being part of the problem. And not trying to fix the problem. I'm not trying to be political, you guys. It's just that... I just feel sad over the whole thing.
Oh. I don't think I really shown you that well, my little flower arrangement here on my table. Look how cute this is. Look. I think I might have showed it on another video. Look at my little scarecrow people popping out. Aren't they cute? I want to do more decorations for fall. <clears throat> I want to go to the dollar store and look around and get some more stuff. And I want to start looking around for these, um, got something in my tooth, for these Christmas village things. Mm. Sorry, I'm eating like a cow, but. That's just me. Anyhow, um, I was looking for these like little Christmas village house things, and somebody said that they're not making them anymore. Are they? So I really want to make a little Christmas village, and I want to get a little toy train set. I think that would be so cute. I love decorating for the holidays. Somebody's out in front of my house going peep with their car horn. Yeah. So I wish I could hear you guys talk. I wish I could hear you guys talk to me. I might do a live stream, but it might be a pain in the butt. I don't know. Everybody's doing live streams anymore. So. This video is 17 minutes long. And I already chatted your ear off. About stupid political stuff. You probably disagree because you're probably like one of those people from Facebook that I've been fighting with. So if you disagree with me, that's okay. I don't really care. Anyway, I'm sorry for the content of this month, Bob. Because it's not supposed to be political. We're supposed to be eating and chatting and having a good time. Mmm, cheesy, cheesy. Well, I'm going to get out of here because now it's 18 minutes long. It's going to take me a long time to eat this because I'm getting full. So, this is what I got left. So, I'm going to get out of here and um, do what I need to do. Clean the kitchen up and hit the bed. So, I hope you had a nice evening meal or some food today hope you have a nice safe warm place to sleep tonight and hope you're healthy wealthy and happy so i will see you gangsters later and if you like me subscribe even if you don't like me subscribe subscribe and be a troll i don't care let's talk about it all right